Okay, and let's start by taking a look why we need a use state hook in the first place, which by the way, we're going to cover in the next lecture. And essentially, we'll right away start with the challenge. So I want you to navigate to the file, basically a component and create a count variable. Display the value in JSX, add a button and try to increase the value. Now I can tell you right away that it's not going to work. Basically, you won't see the latest changes in the browser. So I don't suggest trying like 10 different options. Just basically try the most obvious one and then resume the video. And yes, I'm not going to be extremely annoying and I'm just going to say this once. If you want to work on those challenges, just pause the video, try to set it up and then resume once you're ready to compare the results. So let me just go to app JSX. Let me check that I'm getting the right component. Again, we're looking in the tutorial. We will start with zero one year state starter and then the arrow example. So let me navigate over here, close. And somewhere here, I'm going to create my count variable. So I'm going to go with let count is equal to zero. Beautiful. Then I want to display that value somewhere. And since at the moment I have heading two, and we know that we cannot return adjacent elements, I'm going to turn this into a div. Then we're going to set up a heading two with the actual value. So here I want to display the count. Let me save. And I see the zero. So technically, this is already a good start. Then we want to set up the button right away type is equal to a button. Then we'll set up the unclick. If you want the arrow function, you can definitely do so. In my case, I'll set up the reference and I'll just say increase or increment whatever your heart desires. And now let's set up that function. Let's go over here. Let's say const handle click. Basically in here, you want to go with count, count is equal to count plus one, correct. And let me right away even console log and you'll see that technically everything works, but we won't say anything in the browser. Sorry for the spoiler. So let's go here. Let's save. We have the button. By the way, if you want to add a little bit of styles, you can go here with class name. And you can go with button again, this is coming from global styles. And check it out. Everything is awesome. But as I'm clicking the button, nothing is happening. And actually, if I take a look at the console, I can see that my logic works. So this is technically correct. I am updating this value, but nothing is happening. Why is that? Well, because we're not triggering the re-render. Something we're going to do with use state hook. So even though this logic is awesome in vanilla JS land, it's not going to work in React. If we want to see the latest change of this plane in the browser in React, we need to set up a state value and we need to trigger a re render. And in the next video, we're going to cover how we can do that using use state hook.